What's going on YouTube? It's TCG Jake here and uh, today we're gonna talk about card grading and how I um, how I do this, how I choose and pick and send and what I do to get my cards uh, graded. Um, so the first thing you're gonna need is these and they're called card savers. You can use you use these for both uh, PSA and BGS. Um, we're only gonna do three today. And you're, you're gonna want penny sleeves. It might be okay to use um, perfect fit sleeves. I ran out of penny sleeves, so one of these is a perfect fit, so we're gonna try that. Um, so we'll start with this Charizard card and what you wanna look for. First things first though, make sure your hands are clean. If you ate any Cheetos or have something to drink on the table, move your drink, you don't wanna spill it on your cards, and clean the Cheetos off your hand thoroughly. You do not wanna get that stuff on your cards. Now the first thing I like to do is, um, some people do this with the magnifying glass, is you uh, look at your card, look for scratches. Now these are a little bit newer, so they're not going to have any scratches on it, but something like a base, like my Shadowless Charizard here, it's, it's, oh, it's going to be hard to see in the camera, but maybe if I tilt it the right way, you could see it's, it's more scratched up in the hollow. That's pretty much why it's an 8, um, in my opinion. I, I know it says edges right here. Uh, but yeah, there's there was some hollow scratching that I actually wondered if it would even get higher than a six So uh, I'm a little harsher on my cards than what the grading companies seem to be for the most part It seems like so that could be why too So this is a pre-release uh, XY Evolutions pre-release Charizard that I actually got for a really good price um, Off eBay somebody posted it. I got it for 16 bucks and we can already see right here we have so that's a corner, that probably count as a corner and or an edge. Um, little nicks in the corner, that's something I like to look for. We got more on this corner. And then sometimes even, you'll see them along the edge and they can be really small. I don't see any on this card. But um, if you see those, yep, you see we got some stuff up here. Uh, don't worry, you'll still probably get a decent grade. I mean, and personally I think if I sent this one to BGS, it would get a nine. But um, my rule of thumb is uh, expect a seven, but shoot for eights. So what I mean by that is in Europe, make your grade for a 10, like what you would give a 10, make that an 8. That's what you should do, because then you'll never get disappointed. That's what I normally do. So every card I send out, I always expect 7s back. I have never gotten less than a 9. So uh, I do not, this one I might send to PSA just because I think they'll grade it a little bit easier than BGS, but we'll see. I might send it to BGS. Um, and here we have... A Mega Charizard EX from Flashfire. Um, these I haven't sent much of out, out of these. I'm pretty sure... Well, I do have a black and white era one. Um, my Dialga EX up here. So I have sent a few out towards this... More towards this era. Um, this one looks pretty good. Obviously, we have some edges. Oh, another thing too is centering. Centering, centering. It can knock you down a grade um, you're, if your centering's not good. You can even... Uh, what I have done in the past. It's hard for me to see through my camera, so I'm not gonna do it, but, and I don't wanna scratch the card, but I would put the card in the sleeve and this tape measure, cause it's got that in the way, but you can take like, you can take like a, the two instead and kind of measure each. You can kind of make sure it's pretty much the same. Now, be careful not to get your fingers all over your cards cause you can get oils on them. What you're gonna wanna do is take a microfiber rag like this and actually wipe the card down don't push too hard but you're gonna do this i i do it on both the front and the back and try not to bend it um i have noticed though typical like um bending of cards or warping doesn't always seem to affect grades i'm sure it does but it hasn't seemed to at least in my case that much and i sometimes i wonder if that's from i try to make the when i put them in the envelope and or in the bubble mailer i try to make them as flat as possible and push down now, in my humble opinion, um, I can tell you right now that this is, I would expect, I mean, personally, a 9.5 to a 10. I wouldn't expect a black label, although it is possible to get it even like this because the grader's opinions are going to differentiate per person. Um, and that is because of this right here, that line. Um, if you notice, you can barely see it. I'm pretty good at eyeballing it. You can tell it's a little off-center. Um, I actually didn't notice that when I first grabbed this one. I have a few more Greninja, so I'll probably send out a, a different one. I'll have to look through them to see. Um, after that, what you're going to want to do is put them in these sleeves. 
Um, and I would grab, I would do this with all of your cars, that way you don't accidentally mess one of them up. Oh, I'm getting my finger on there. Well, this is perfect fit, it's okay. And you'll put them in your sleeve, and then you will switch them over to your card savers. These aren't that expensive. Um, I've noticed that lots of collector shops do carry them. Best place to get them if you can't find them is eBay. They are a little difficult to put in there, so you do gotta be a little bit careful. But you can get them, you wanna get it all the way down to the bottom too, as much as you can. And then you can even slam it down. Um, I'm not gonna do this here, but what you're gonna wanna do after that is, what I always do is cardboard, or you can do bubble wrap first, but I suggest cardboard first and then bubble wrap, and then if you really are worried, another piece of cardboard with tape around it. Um, put the tape around the cardboard and bubble wrap, keep it secure, and then a bubble mailer. And then I suggest um, getting your stamps online and holding on to the tracking number just in case. And another thing would be like getting insurance and stuff, but that's, you're already gonna have insurance through um, Beckett if something happens, but I don't know if that covers the card on the way there. So you might have to get mailing insurance too. Um, which, if you're sending out something super expensive, I would highly recommend. So, that's it for today's video. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you wish. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.